that. I wish y'all could taste this through the camera. Like, oh, like, hold on, wait a minute. Let's get a closer. Let me tell y'all something. Them, them lamb chops is fuck. It, it's gonna melt up in your mouth. Like. <laughs> What's up, you guys? We back with another video, another episode of the banger. Put your bees up, ay. 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 Let's get to it. Okay, so listen, y'all. We are back with another cooking episode. Honey, and that is just that on that. Um, please excuse my lace, because my lace is a little messed up right now. I had a broken nail, child. I have an all over the place or whatever, but it's all good, though. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. It don't matter. Um, we've missed you guys, period. We have been working on so, 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 so much. We got new music dropping. We got new visuals dropping. We got new episodes dropping. And guess what? Our merch is out, so go shop now, period. Go get that Dangles merch right now period um and today yes i will be hitting you guys with another cooking video and that is just that on that i know y'all love my cooking videos y'all be eating it up <laughs> but not like literally <laughs> okay here you. okay so listen today i will be cooking some baked lamb chops with um some garlic noodles and some garlic green beans and honestly this meal is inspired by like on the meal because i don't know if you guys ever been if you have never been to atlanta or if you do live in Atlanta, then um, if you have never been, go check out this restaurant or whatever. It's so good. They got the best garlic noodles in town, baby. I'm not playing with you. or the, But you know, I'm going to make mine better. Okay? Period. I'm going to make mine better. Yes, the restaurant is called Lake Golden Nail. Period. Um, I love their garlic noodles. But, you know, I, you know, people can't cook like me. So, <laughs> that's just that on that. <laughs> okay, period. But anyways, um, yeah, so... Um, we're gonna get into this recipe or whatever. Make sure you guys are already subscribed. If you guys are not, if you guys are not subscribing, hey, welcome new Vango members. Welcome new Vango gang, period. Shout out to the new gang members. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that on that. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, comment, and share. Also, check out our new visuals that we are dropping. If you haven't already, go check out Coco's new music. He's been dropping. Um, and yeah, we got so much um, in store for you guys. And yes, Bear Honey Cosmetics is still on the way, you guys. I've just been working super, super, super hard. My schedule is so busy. I barely even be at home. Oh, thank you, God. Okay, period. And that's just that on that. Let's get into it. Okay, here we have our delicious lamb chops already cut up. Okay, period. And that's just that on that. All right, so what we're going to do first, actually, this one's, they missed one. I had them cut them at the uh, store. So let me just cut this down the middle real quick. Cause child, I ain't had the time to do all of that, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now let me just cut this. Okay, so yeah, so we've already rinsed off, you know what I'm saying? I don't play about that washing that meat now, okay? Can't play about that now. All right, so we have rinsed off our meat and now we're about to season it. But first you want to add just a little bit of oil. Oh, child, get it together. Okay, so just add a little bit of olive oil over them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so you just want to add a really, really nice a bit of oil on them. Um, Y'all know how I do my seasonings. I just kind of go for it. So I'm just going to put some onion powder. Lightly sprinkle though because these lamb chops are kind of like tiny. So you don't need all of that. I'm going to do some garlic powder. Hey, I can smell it already. Stop playing with it. <laughs> okay. Um, you want to do some, I'm just going to do a little bit of light of um, the adobo. Real light. Okay. And uh, what's next? Let's do some 
just kind of a mix of all like it's got some pink salt black pepper and garlic in it so i'm just gonna sprinkle that like so over the lamb choppy okay you want to do some black pepper get that seasoned up real hot you want to do some paprika take a little bit of this Italian seasoning and sprinkle it on over. Yes, get the flavors going, baby, get the flavors going. Okay, and then we're gonna take a little bit of oregano too. And we're gonna do the same. Uh-oh, I ain't opened up my oregano, so let's see if I got another one that's already open. If not, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this one. Okay. I wish y'all could already smell it. Like, you know when you start smelling the seasoning? Like, wow! Okay, period. It's going down! Okay, period. And this is that on that. Y'all know, cooking makes me very, very happy. Okay, but as you see, I'm doing this like very lightly. Not too much. Not too much. Boom, oh, bam, bam. And you just want to add just some like pure, like kosher salt. Um, it's not as salty as the other salt. So, that's gonna look very, very nice. Okay? And boom, and I want to, I do both sides, so I'm going to flip them over because, I mean, you can't just not season both sides. Like, that's ridiculous. Okay, that's crazy. That's unheard of. <laughs> that's burnt out. Okay. These over, baby. Mm -hmm. And those already got that oil up on them. So you just kind of repeat the same thing. Real light, not too much. Okay. Okay, now, you wanna take some Worcestershire, if you can see, Worcestershire, okay? This is a very good sauce to marinate, to marinate that meat up in there, okay? Get it real juicy, and it's very flavorful. It really, really helps, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna massage all of this into that meat, okay? So just make sure, you know, get a nice, good flavoring going. I take my lamb chop and I just kinda of like you know, massage that meat up in there, it's all, uh, all up in that flavor. All up in that flavor, all up in those seasonings, honey. It's going to be a beautiful day, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, when I tell you it already smells good, like goodness gracious. 
Alrighty, so next, what you wanna do is, I want to just add just a little bit of beef broth just to get a nice good texture and a good just juice from those lamb chops. All that seasoning so it could just be cooking up in that juice. Oh, do you see that? Stop playing. Only one person in the hood play like that. Okay, there you go. Stop playing with me, Smokey. And that's just that on that. Okay, that's about good. Um, again, not too much. I don't have to do all of that. So what I'm also going to do is, I'm also going to give, I'm gonna break these rosemary leaves in half. I'm gonna put one right there. And I'm gonna put one right here, okay? And I'm also going to add some thyme. Some thyme leaves. And we're just going to put some right there, just kind of around the pan. Probably add like one more, maybe. Oh, two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me get this one. This one looks like a good one. And probably just, you know, make it look real pretty. Okay, period. That's one thing about my food, too. I love when it looks pretty. Like, you gotta make the, the presentation of everything of the food, okay? So, there you have it. And. I already preset my oven to 400 degrees. Um, I am going to cook this a little bit slowly or whatever. I might actually drop the temperature to about three, uh, about 375, um, but no lower than that. Um, because again, these are lamb chops and because I'm baking these, I want these to be very, very tender, juicy, real nice. Okay, and so we're gonna cover that up with some oil, and then bam, bam, put it in the oven. And we'll be right back. Okay, here we have um, our noodles. So we're about to go ahead and start it with our noodles. Now, I did spaghetti noodles, just regular spaghetti noodles. I tried to do um, the angel hair pasta, but that didn't come out like how I wanted it to. So yeah, here we are using spaghetti noodles. Because I just feel like the spaghetti noodles are like thick enough or whatever, so. Also, when you're doing spaghetti noodles, you don't want to overcook them. Um, don't let them get too like super, super soft or whatever the case may be. Um, you know what I'm saying? Give it a rest, you feel me? <laughs> Period, and that's just that on that. Okay, so I've also looked at some recipes on how to do some garlic noodles. And I see there's different recipes, but I see a key ingredient that really gets the ones that I really like going, and it's called fish sauce. So you want to use some premium fish sauce. Um, yeah, so like, you know what I'm saying? Get the flavor really going. And um, I'm gonna show you guys here all of the toppings or ingredients that I use to make mine. Now let me get this garlic open. Cause child, this is it's a little rough around here. You gotta slap the bottom of the thing. Okay, there we go. Ha! There we go, talk to me now. All right. So, here we are for our garlic noodles. Um, these are, mind you, I've already boiled them, already cooked them and everything like that. Um, I'm actually going to add a few more. Okay. Um, and yeah, so. We have some minced garlic. So we wanna add in the garlic, turn up our heat a couple of notches, just a tad. Mind you, it's garlic noodles, okay? So don't be afraid to use garlic, okay? Period. Alrighty, so I'll probably do like three or four um, spoonfuls of the garlic, all right? And mind you, at the bottom of the pan, I used a little bit of butter and um, some olive oil, too. Um, I have, and also I see that they use oyster flavored sauce, cha. So I guess we're gonna try it today. 
Because I don't be scared to try stuff. That's my thing. Like, I'm never scared. Okay. And I'm smelling it, too. And it's not that bad. It don't really smell like... It doesn't smell bad at all, actually, to be honest. Um, and then we have our premium fish sauce, okay? Y'all, please excuse my nail, okay? Period. But premium fish sauce, okay? And I got all this stuff at Whole Foods. Whole Foods, Whole Foods. And that's just that I'm So let me crack this baby open. And I've already turned up that heat up on those noodles. And again, you don't want the noodles to be too soft. I like my noodles to kind of be like crunchy, if that makes sense. I do not like no too, too soft noodles, like straight noodles. Like even when I'm cooking like ramen noodles or something, I do not like no, I like my noodles to be crunchy. Not all that slithered, like I'm good. I'm good on it. Dang, they be wrapping these things up like I'm finna break into a bank or something. <laughs> You're like, what's good? Okay, let me smell this. Okay, yeah, so it don't smell bad, actually. I like to smell stuff before I use it, so yeah. But okay, so we're going to crank up that heat a little bit more to get these flavors going. I think I should probably add a couple more noodles. Okay. Let's get that garlic going. Probably gonna add just a tad bit more oil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you hear that little sizzle. That sizzle crack. Ah! <laughs> okay. Stop playing with it. Arrow. Okay. so good already that garlic is like going crazy up in here okay mm. and I'm probably going to add a little bit more garlic too um, I'm going to use the rest of my other garlic that I already had don't be scared uh, I love this brand garlic too so good What I'm going to add in is just a tad bit of that oyster sauce. Okay. So maybe like maybe three spoonfuls of it. Not too much because I don't I don't know what this is about to bring. I've never you know tasted it like this, so I don't know. Um, now we're gonna add in our fish sauce. Oh. Gotta smell that again, okay? <laughs> I love smelling something, okay? Actually, I'm gonna take this top off. Or, um, I, the way that the bottle is like set up, that you kind of gotta like shake it to put it in there. So, we just gonna shake it all around. Okay. Fish sauce. Just a tad bit of a uh, soy. Just a tad because. Soy can be very salty. Just a tad. Just a tad. That's enough. That soy will take over. And then we're going to add in our teriyaki.
Now, I might need to add in some more fish, the fish sauce, but we will see in a minute after we are done tasting it. So I just want to add in some um, seasonings now. So I'm going to add in some kosher salt. Just a tad bit of onion powder. And I want to do some black pepper. Mm-hmm. Get that sizzle on, baby. All right. And I will do some parsley. To add that green to it, you know? And you actually want to also add some beautiful, beautiful garlic powder, ladies and gentlemen. These are garlic noodles that we are cooking. And that's that. One that. Ooh! What? Adding some more just to work them in. I ran out of my other teriyaki sauce, so I'm gonna add some of this in. If you want more of that teriyaki flavor, suggest you definitely add in some more teriyaki sauce. Let me actually shake this up before. their real teriyaki flavor, baby. Garlicky teriyaki flavor. Add some more noodles in to work in here. Okay, so here we have our garlic green beans. Um, basically, it's very simple. Just some minced garlic, added some teriyaki, put the green beans in, and just season it up with some salt, pepper, onion, and garlic, period. And you know what I'm saying? We just gonna stir it on up. And it's almost done. As you can see, I like me a nice little crispy garlic green bean. Not too soft, not too hard, but you know, right in the middle. You know what I'm saying? 
And so yeah, it's gonna be very flavorful and I will show you guys the finished product in a minute. Start right there! And I just on it. And there you have it, guys. Our delicious meal. We got some garlic noodles. We got some garlic green beans. You know what I'm saying? Mix that teriyaki in real nice. And we have our baked lamb chops. And you know, you had to top it off with a little nice buttery, sweet Hawaiian roll. Cause like, what's my plate without a Hawaiian roll? All right. Okay, anyways, that's just that on that. Thank you guys for tuning in on another episode of Cooking with Bisha. I will see you guys next time. Make sure you guys are subscribed and sharing this video and liking, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and smash that like button and drop a comment. Let me know what you guys wanna see me cook next. And that's just that on that. I wish y'all could taste this through the camera. Like, oh, like, hold on, wait a minute. Let's get a closer. Let me tell y'all something. Them, them lamb chops, is it, this gonna melt up in your mouth. Like, don't even play with it. Rope tight it, baby. And that's just that on that. Okay, period. Let's talk about it. Let's be about it. Make sure you guys go cop that new Van Gogh's merch. Bear Honey is on the way. Make sure y'all go follow Bear Honey Cosmetics if you're not already doing so. And go check out our new music on Coca's chan channel. I'm sorry, he just dropped a new video. And yeah, let's get it. See you guys on the next episode. See ya, peace.